Now, to start with the second city-state, or to compare now Sparta to the opposite city-state, which is Athens. Athens was, an, was another Greek city-state that was located northeast of Sparta. Unlike Spartans, the Athenians were the descendants of the Mycenaeans, and they differed greatly from Sparta in its ideas, society, and government. Athenians, unlike Spartans, believed that education is vital and that it is more important than a strong military. They encouraged education. Athenian boys studied in schools and they studied complex subjects such as arithmetic, geometry, drawing, music, and public speaking. They also participated in sports, so the Athenians believed that this type of education would produce young people with strong minds and bodies. After the boy would turn 18 and finish school, they were expected to take an active role in public affairs. Public affairs are jobs that has to do with the society, like judges or uh, uh, court uh, officers or tax collectors, they had to do a job that is related in helping their city-state. Now, Athenian mothers, they educated their daughters at home. The girls were taught spinning, weaving, and other household duties. In some wealthy families, they learned how to read, write, and play music. Now, women were expected to marry and care for their children. For the most, part of the Athenian society, the women were not expected to take role in any government or political conditions. Now, a group of leaders started ruling Athens one by one. The first one was Solon. Solon had many achievements. The first one was that he ended the farmer's debts and he freed those who were enslaved. He also opened the assembly and the law to all male citizens because previously only the uh, uh, high level Athenians were allowed to join the assembly. Uh, he also passed uh, Another law, which added the Council of 400, which included 400 wealthy citizens who were going to discuss and take care of the city-state's legal matters. The common people liked Solon's changes, but the Athenians or the wealthy Athenians were unhappy. 